Did you know that hammerhead sharks are vegetarian? With the world having more choice in what we eat and the popularity of being a vegetarian or even a vegan, more research is now looking at marine life to which we have always thought that certain species were always carnivores and the results are actually pretty surprising. So researchers from the Department of Ecology and Evolutionary Biology at the University of California have been studying the hammerhead shark's smaller relative, the bonnet head. And they concluded that this species of shark in the world's first known or is the world's first known omnivorous shark. Uh, the species which grows to no more than about one and a half meters can be found in the Atlantic and the Gulf Coast. To test this theory, the research team teamed up with scientists from Florida uh, that they planted seagrass in laboratory tanks uh, with the addition of a carbon isotope to give it a distinct chemical signature. They then placed five bonnet heads into the tank uh, where their diet was 90% seagrass and 10% squid and they stayed in these tanks for three weeks. During the trial, the scientists collected the shark feces Fantastic job there. Uh, then once the three weeks was up, they unfortunately killed the sharks um, to track their digestive system. From these results, they found out that the sharks gained nutritional benefits from the seagrass, and in fact, they put on weight and remained healthy whilst living in the tanks. They also had a high level of the isotope in their blood and liver, which showed that cell growth had also occurred. Carnivores such as sharks normally have very low levels of the enzymes required to break down fiber and carbohydrates, but the bonnet heads had very high levels, with more than half of the organic material in the seagrass digested. Fantastic. So of course, this discovery is very important to shark ecology, but it does need to be mentioned that because the sharks were tanked, that they may be showing more signs of stress, so a three-week test might be insufficient. But I'm sure more research will go into it, and maybe longer tests will be taken. It's pretty hard to get reliable results outside of a controlled environment. So how do you feel about these tests? Did they even need to do them? After all, yes, great, some sharks eat more veg than meat news. Uh, but what can we really do with this information? Let's have a chat about it in the comments. If you're watching this on Twitter, don't forget to give us a like and a retweet. And to our awesome YouTube family, you guys know what to do. Thanks for watching. Safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.